Hey, welcome D-Lab everybody. I'm in process of upgrading a pair of Dynaco Mark III tube amplifiers. Part of that upgrade is to remove the selenium rectifier from the negative bias circuit. Now when you do that, the voltage drop changes and you have to readjust the biasing resistors so that you can get that 1.5 volts bias that Dynaco wants you to have. Okay. So I noticed there's a lot of conversation on the web about this and people really don't know what those resistor values are. Well, I've got the answer right here. So let's start with an unmodified Dynaco Mark III. Here is the bias circuit. You have your selenium rectifier. There's a thousand ohm resistor. And this is the first negative bias cap. And then if you look up here, you got your bias adjust pot with another cap and an 18K resistor going to ground stock configuration. Now we'll swing over here. The selenium rectifier has been replaced by a 1N 4007. Of course we have a new cap but you'll see that the 1000 ohm resistor is now a 10K. If you go up here and take a look at the bias pot now you also have another 10K going to ground off of that pot. So you got 10K here, a 10K pot, 10K here. This configuration allows for proper bias adjustment of your output tubes. I'll cut to a diagram so you can see the before and after. All right, before I cut to that diagram, I want to give you guys a good close-up of the new negative bias system. So there is the 1N4007 diode. You see the way the band is facing, and then your filter cap negative side goes here, and then the positive side goes to ground. Don't reverse that or you could damage your amp. Well, here's the diagram as promised. The upper picture is a stock configuration showing the selenium rectifier. And the bottom picture is the upgrade to the 1N4007 diode and the new resistor values. If you have any questions, you can drop me a line. If you need a copy of this print, shoot me an email to DLab Electronics.